What are you drinking today? Crystal Light. Kind. Okay. Peach iced tea. Peach iced tea? Oh, like a southern gal. They make a peach mango. You're wearing a little nice peachy, uh, like mango shirt. Very plaid, very gingham. 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 Yeah, exactly. After last week's episode, I was like sick with diarrhea for like two weeks. I don't think they need to know that. Not two weeks, two days. I don't, still don't think they need to I think transparency is good. So my viewers need to know that I was di re riddled with a disease in which you were bowel How about, my name is Scott. Para todos nuestros seguidores de México, hola, mi nombre es Gustavo. And this is Tabito and the Scoots. Our second show this season. Second show. I am enjoying this. I Are mean, you? Yeah, you know, I like think we talked about it slightly last week. Yeah. But, you know, this has been like a year's journey of work. Uh, You're got, a businessman now. We're business people. We are. Yeah. On top of that, celebrities. Yeah, yeah. I haven't quite got noticed, noticed in public yet. I got noticed. Did you? Sure did. Where? At the Fred Meyer and Ballard. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was my old high school teacher. Her name is Mrs. So she knew you? From high school. Okay. Yeah. No. You've created a channel and have worked worked from the bottom up, basically. Yeah, we've created, learning vegetarian has been a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Doing YouTube is not just getting on camera. No. It is creating videos. It's thinking of the content that you're going to put on those videos. And then it's filming it. Editing. And let me tell you what, you only get one shot when you're cooking. Oh. It's not like I'm gonna do crack this egg 12 times. Do you have I'm... a team? So like, do you have dishwashers and people who prepare your stuff? So you no, chefs? it's all me. Is it? It's me. I get up in the morning and I clean the kitchen because you have to like clean your Absolutely. space. Absolutely, right? you can't you have, have to... cockroaches. I mean, there. you can't. You know, you know, people are zooming in on shit, so or stuff. Right here. Right. Same I thing. do. I do. I'm like, what's back there? I don't care what you're cooking. I want to see. That's my biggest pet peeve. When people take selfies in a disgusting bathroom. Oh yeah, I don't want to see that Cause stuff. you know I'm zooming in oh. to see what kind of floss they're using. Absolutely. It ain't waxed, don't talk to me. No, I can ah. see that gingivitis growing on that tooth, girl. <laughs> gingivitis, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're talking about my least favorite activity. Moving. 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 I hate moving because it's a lot of work. Oh, it's terrible. On paper, it's, it's like, fine. oh, whatever. Logistically, oh. you have to pack things, you have to sort things, you have to throw things. Away. I'm you have a hoarder. to go through things. Oh, absolutely. And I go through things, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, this memory. Oh, I thought I gone, <laughs> dog, buried this, didn't have to think about it again. Oh no. Yeah, you know that one now thing. I got thrown away. One thing I did in second grade for Mother's Day that I forgot to give to my mom. Still I wrote under a my haiku. Bed. I wrote. I wrote a haiku. Ooh. Uh, oh, I'll give that to you. Miss Maya Angelou. <laughs> <All right. laughs> also. If you have sh shitty friends who are like, oh yeah, let us know what we can do, and then ghost. Never to be seen again. Thank God we don't have that kind of friend. Thank but you. We moved on the same day. Otherwise, I would have helped you. We moved on the same weekend. Yeah, same we weekend. We documented it on Instagram. Yeah, it was a thing. We did a story. I got really sidetracked. I was not good at that story, but well, I saw you singing for people. I did, I did. Well, you have to take a little break. So you have to do a little karaoke session. That's fine. Right? And I didn't know that my room at my old apartment had great acoustics without any furniture oh, in it. Oh, absolutely it does. <laughs> I bet your neighbors loved that. Well, my neighbors had to put up with quarantine musical. They had to put up with any kind of singing. So they were used to it. At this point, they're like, just get it all out. <laughs> you're you're out of here. See you never. So at 8 o'clock, this ends. Yeah. Okay. Bye. I moved in with a good friend of mine because I'm homeless. Oh my God, that makes you homeless. I am homeless, yeah. Well, I'm on the market for a home. Okay. And the market in Washington right now, it's down the drain. It's dumb. It's very bad. Yeah. So it's been difficult and we've been on the market for about like five or six months now. Yeah. So rather than getting a studio and having a contract for God knows how many years, I just, my friend said, oh, I'll, I haven't given to charity this year. Let me give a little. Move in with me. That's nice. So I moved in with a good that's friend a big, That's a big charity donation right there. Big ain't the problem in this family. Thick. Hashtag thick. Thank you for plugging in my merch. Go to the official tavo.com to purchase the new hashtag thick t shirt. That's nice. That's a nice. More t shirts to come. I'm excited. There's a new Tavito and Scoots t shirt. Ooh, coming. I was wondering, is there a Tavito and the Scoots t Yes. Shirt okay. It's so cute. Do you like your new place? What is this? A commercial?
commercial for Doritos? You're like so seductively eating a Dorito. Okay, cut, cut well, the Doritos. I don't know what you're talking about. Mom. No, we're not sponsored by Doritos. Put it away. This is an off-brand. Doritos. Did you have to overcome any challenges? Uh, no, because of COVID, this was the most thought out, well-planned move I've ever done in my entire really? life. Really? Yes. Huh. Like down to the hour, like this, we're gonna do this between this hour and this hour, like Wow. Get it. Oh, it was, we were like almost unpacked and done by the very next day. Wow. Yeah. See, I'm still not unpacked. I had to get a storage room. So my challenge was that no, I had no help because of COVID, mm, right? Yeah. My parents couldn't come and that's basically, you were busy with your move. Yep. So I had to do everything myself and that was stressful. That's very stressful. My little Prius could not, contain everything at my house. So it was it was a stress ball, but it happened. I was out on time. I was cleaned, etc. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, there's pets in that room, and uh, not in that room, but in the home. Yeah. Um, there's a bearded dragon named Sid. Sid Vicious. You know okay. Sid. I do know Sid. And um, Ellie's cat. Ziggy. Ziggy. Mm-hmm. Who I still have, well actually no, I did meet him. He, he snuck and sniffed me and then ran back in, under the bed. Like most of Tavo's first dates. Can you blame them? I don't. Can't say nothing about it. Well, <laughs> we have moved on to a new season, and oh, as yeah. always, it's been great talking to you. Oh, you know, uh, I think it's time to pack this truck and head out. <laughs> it's sure is. Wait, get in your little car. No, you're facing, you're driving. Oh. <sighs> All right, everyone. Well, this has been awesome. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe down below. We'll see you next week. I'm Tavo. And I'm Scott. And this is Tavo in the Scoops. Oh, I was driving. <laughs>